There's something extraordinary brewing in the tech world, something that could quite literally change the way we think. Here is the latest brainchild of Elon Musk, now ready to start human trials after gaining approval from the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Picture this, a device that could potentially cure brain diseases, reverse spinal cord injuries, and perhaps one day allow us to interface with artificial superintelligence. Exciting, isn't it? Remember those sci-fi movies where humans had chips in their brains that allowed them to communicate with machines? Well, Elon Musk's Neuralink is striving to turn those dreams into reality, but the concept of brain-computer interfaces, BCI, isn't a novelty. In fact, BCIs have been around since the 1990s. What makes Neuralink special is its novel approach to this technology. Their innovative design promises a direct, high-bandwidth interface with the cerebral cortex. And let me tell you, it's nothing short of awe-inspiring. The anticipation surrounding Neuralink's human trials has been building for a while. Musk founded Neuralink in 2016, and since then the team has been making strides in its research, teasing the public with the possibility of human trials. Despite facing some safety concerns and setbacks, they've now received the green light from the FDA to carry out their first human clinical study. Don't be fooled into thinking that this approval means Neuralink will start installing implants in our brains right away. It's a crucial step, yes, but it's just the beginning. The focus of their initial study will be on a small group of up to 10 individuals with specific physical disabilities or illnesses. And let's not sugarcoat it. This device and the accompanying surgical procedure is new territory, and it does come with risks. The ultimate goal? To enable someone suffering from full body paralysis to control an electronic device such as a computer or smartphone using only their thoughts. This might sound like a storyline from a science fiction novel, but with the trials they've successfully conducted on monkeys, Neuralink believes that they're well on their way to making this a reality. What sets Neuralink apart is its unique design and implementation. Current invasive BCI technology, while effective, is somewhat cumbersome, and certainly not for the faint-hearted. Neuralink aims to revolutionize this. Their implant, dubbed the N1, is designed like a Fitbit that fits snugly inside your skull. The N1 communicates with the brain using ultra-thin, flexible wires that make a direct, high-bandwidth connection to the brain. Neuralink's groundbreaking approach to neuroscience has the potential to rewrite the book on brain-computer interfaces. As Elon Musk's Neuralink begins human trials, it's not only a triumph for the company, but a monumental step forward for the field of neuroscience. We stand on the precipice of a new era, and it's exhilarating to see where this journey will lead us. One thing is for sure, Neuralink is proof that we're living in a world where science fiction is slowly but surely becoming science fact. Behold the latest spectacle on the world stage, Elon Musk's Neuralink, a venture that claims to bring healing and innovation, but may be a precursor to the prophesied Mark of the Beast. A microchip that is implanted directly into the human brain isn't it eerily similar to what we've been forewarned about in the Book of Revelation. Scripture has taught us to be vigilant in discerning the signs of the end times. Revelation 13, 16, 17 says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Now, Elon Musk's Neuralink has proposed a brain implant, a mark in the forehead, if you will. Coincidence? You be the judge. The Food and Drug Administration has approved Neuralink to begin human trials, despite earlier safety concerns. Yet we must ask ourselves, is this a cause for celebration or consternation? Are we stepping into a new era of technological advancements, or are we inching closer to the fulfillment of the apocalyptic prophecy? The benefits that Neuralink promises may seem enticing at first glance. A device that could potentially enable individuals suffering from full-body paralysis to control electronic devices merely through thought. However, 
Could this technological leap be the first step toward paving the way for a one-world government under the Antichrist, where the masses could be controlled through a mere thought? It's no secret that the book of Revelation warns us of a time when every living being will be required to receive a mark, without which they can neither buy nor sell. Could Neuralink's microchip implant be the technological realization of this biblical prophecy? As believers, we must be cautious and discerning, questioning the true motives behind these advancements. Dear friends, as we observe these events unfold, let us remember the words of 1 Peter 5, 8. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Musk's Neuralink, with its promise of a revolutionary brain-computer interfaces, could indeed be an instrument of tremendous good. Or it could be the mechanism that fulfills the prophecy of the mark of the beast. As we step into these uncertain times, it's crucial to keep our eyes wide open, stay vigilant, and continually seek divine guidance. We must not be quick to embrace every technological advancement, especially those that could potentially pave the way for prophetic end-time scenarios. Share your thoughts about this in the comments section. Thanks for watching.